In this video, we're gonna try to use Excel to do a linear trend forecasting. So in this question, we are given the GDP of the United States from 1981 to 2014. We should download the data, already done. We download it to Excel, that's the best way, right? Okay, so now how can we get the graph? So it's really simple. You could, the easiest way, select the totality of the data and then you're going to go to insert and then you're going to go scatter plot and this is your graph, GDP graph. Okay, and uh, you can notice here the best choice would be the first one, A, and all set. Now, they are asking you for the equation of y hat and that is the trend forecasting and this is nothing other than the linear regression however on your book they never use the years so you always have to insert the x i's so i insert another column next to the y i's you're going to be called the x i's and this x i's you're going to start with zero so i'm going to type zero enter and then type one enter and then what you're going to do is select 0 and 1 and double click in the corner. All right. And this is going to generate the remaining number. So they are 33 data. All right. So now we're going to run the regression line. So a regression analysis. So we're going to go to data, data analysis, select regression here, say OK. And then you select your data. So the first one is the Y values, all right? So that is GDP. I'm going to select GDP from the first one, including the header. The last, done. Now I'm going to select the X size. So the X size, you're going to start from, again, from the header is X size all the way to the down. So you're going to be 33 there. And the label is checked and you have to give the position for the output. And I'm going to put it up there. And that's all. So I get this, my data. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy the value for the intercept. Control copy, paste it here and round it to one, mm -hmm. one decimal place. So you get be 0.87, that's going to turn 0.9. And the same thing, I'm going to copy this one and paste it. So the slope, it would be 441.22. That's going to turn 0.2. Check. And it's good. Okay. Now they are asking you to graph the trend line. So the trend line, we can add it right here really easy on Excel. So first of all, you get a click on one of the points. Once it's selected, right click while I'm using window, and then you're going to put here, add a trend line. So once you add a trend line, make sure you are selecting linear. That's basically it, but uh, you can add some extra here. Don't set the intercept to zero, please. So just you can add the R squared, for example, and the equation of the line. So that the equation first and the R squared. And you can see them here, they've been added to the graph. Okay, and that's it. You don't need anything else. And you see here, there is a small line going up this way. So that's the trend line. And that's how we're going to get the predicted values, even in the future, right? And obviously, this will be this choice. Okay, next question. Again, they are asking you to do a forecast for two years, 2015 and 2016. Okay, we're going to do it in two different methods. All right. Again, we're going to use Excel. So these two values, this is what we call the Bs. So this is the B values, that the vector B. Bi's if you want to. With this value, we have the vector xi. So I'm going to use matrices here. The vector xi, you're going to start with zero. Uh, you're going to start always with one. 
and the second value is going to be the corresponding value of the x. So if I'm using if I'm using 2015 as the first year to predict. So 2015, do you see it here is 2014, 2015 again be the next year. And the number corresponding to it is 33. So I'm gonna put 2015 and this is gonna be one more number, 34, basically, right? So this is the number 34. Now, if I wanna get the Y predicted, right? Y hat. The Y hat is gonna be a multiplication of matrices. So this is the first method. You can put M multiplication for matrices, and that's the first one. Select it, and then you're gonna multiply the transpose, right? Selected of one of these matrices, is a column matrix. Load the parentheses, put a comma. Now we are in the multiplication. We're going to multiply it with this matrix over here. And close and enter. So this is for 2015. Right? We can select all of this and put it 2015. So the value that we are looking for is this one. We can copy it and paste it. And that's going to be 17,190 billion point 35, and we want to round it to one decimal place, so 0.4. That's good. Now I'm going to use for 2016 a different method, so 2016 here. So first of all, you need to identify 2016, what you're going to be the corresponding x. So if I have 2016 here, this is going to be the subsequent number, which is 35. So in, we know it's 35 here, so we can put the xi here equals to 35. Now for the y hat, I could use the formula directly. So you're going to be equal sign. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the intercept. And then I'm going to add plus sign. I'm going to multiply it. Um, well, I'm going to add the slope times the value 35 in here, all right? And that's all. And that's the value. I could have done it as well with the first one, right? So this is going to be the second method. You can use whatever is, seems easier for you, right? So let's plug it in. All right, so you went around it. So 0.5, that will be 5.7, which is going to be 6. Heck. It's done. Now, he's asking you about how is the trend of the slope or the trend of the line. You can clearly see it's increasing, going upward. So just you, what you're going to select here is going upward. Check. And that's all.